during lock during lockdown during the COVID lockdown, obviously man's on Facebook and that always on Facebook, and a lot of poor people, people who live average lives, people who settle for mediocrity, they like to shame the rich. I saw a news article on Facebook about Alan Sugar. Lockdown, during COVID lockdown, Alan Sugar, he must have bought a brand new yacht or a brand new jet or something like that. Yeah? And in the caption, the title was, it's all right for some, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it was, that, that, that's the title of the, the headline. Yeah, that was the headline. It's all right for some. So basically what they're doing is they're trying to shame the man, in it? Yeah. And what they want, right? It's, it's almost like, okay, so everyone's dying around us. Yeah? Apparently everyone's dying. Yeah. So because everyone's dying, he must not live his life. Yeah? They're basically trying to shame him and trying to make him look bad for living a normal life, maybe slashing out whatever in here during the lockdown, during the COVID period when everyone's dying. They're trying to make him look like he's a, they're basically trying to demonize him for still living his life. Yeah? Listen, if you are a poor person, yeah, and you, if you have an able body, able brain, yeah, phys good physical health and that, and you are struggling or you're poor, you ain't living the lifestyle that you're living and you ain't striving for better, that's your fault, yeah. There's people out here, they ain't got nothing going for them, yeah. They set up for mediocrity, and then when they see other people doing well, they want to demonize them, yeah. So what if, so who gives a damn if people are dying from COVID-19, yeah? Why should Alan Sugar not live his life, yeah? So so, so because the world is in pan pandemonium or whatever, and it is a pandemic or whatever, um, Alan Sugar must, must, must just be sitting down and, and, and fucking getting himself drunk, drinking himself to death. No. So what if there's lots of people dying around the, right, around the, right, around the world? Yeah, you know, my heart goes out to them, innit? But I'm still going to live my life. I'm not going to work. So if I'm Alan Sugar, oh, I had this yacht in mind, yeah? I had this jet in mind, and it was booked for me to buy it in April, um, on April the 20th. I booked it in November, yeah? It had to be custom built. So we're approaching April the 20th, yeah? But because the world is under lockdown and lots of people are dying, I'm not gonna buy this yacht or this jet, whatever it was, just because people are dying. No, I'm still gonna live my life, yeah? Whether people wanna say, oh, I'm rubbing it in their face, whatever it is, yeah? It is what it is, isn't it, yeah? But I'm still gonna live my life, yeah? That's like, now obviously it's a bit different now, isn't it, yeah? If one of your family members dies, yeah, and you're at the house, yeah, where the family member lives or whatever, in it, don't be telling everyone about the Lamborghini that you just bought. Or don't be, don't be pulling up outside with the Lamborghini revving it up and stuff in it. Yeah, there's there, there's a fine line, right, between you know showing off and you know being appropriate and stuff like that and still living your life in it. Yeah? So yeah, in a situation like that, right, if a family member passed away and you go to the family house. Don't be revving up your, your Lamborghini outside, me. Yeah? No one want to hear that shit. Yeah? But if in the outside world, things are going bad, people are dying or whatever from COVID-19, right? Alan Sugar should not be thinking to himself, oh, well, I'm not going to buy my yacht. I'm not going to buy my jet. I'm not going to live my life. No, I'm still going to live my life, no matter what's going on in the outside world, yeah? I, I actually think people must have thought he's supposed to be sitting down, getting himself drunk, drinking himself to death, yeah? Just because the outside world is 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 fucking, you know, is in a pandemonium or whatever, isn't it? Exactly. It's his money. The man's made sacrifices, yeah, taken risks, stepped out of his comfort zone. He should be allowed to spend his money on whatever he wants, yeah. Why the fuck are people making news articles about the man? Yeah? Like, that's my question. Yeah? My question isn't, oh, why is he spending this money? Why is he splashing out? My question is, why are these people even concerned with what our next man's doing? Yeah? Like I always say, people need to focus on themselves. Yeah? Instead of worrying about what our next person's got or what our next person's doing. No, focus on yourself. This is people's problem. Same thing during the, the, the COVID lockdown period or whatever, isn't it? You got a man suspected of dying in North Korea and the London Evening Standard is saying that they're going to look into it. What the fuck for? Why, what, what is, 
How is it London Evening Standards business that someone in another country, yeah, someone in Asia, yeah, that country has got nothing to do with the UK. Why is it London Evening Standard business to be looking into it? Now she made a rant video about that as well. People need to mind their own business. This is why people are not achieving because they're, they're not focused on themselves. Yeah? People need to focus on themselves more. They need to be a bit more selfish. That don't mean step over a dead body yeah, to get your candy floss or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah? But people need to be a bit more self-centered. People be, need to be a bit more focused. This is why you've got black people in this country pissed off about how the police are treating black people in another country and now they're protesting in war, or they were protesting a riot. But what has that got to do with you? If you're a black person watching this right now on the replay, and you went out there and you protested and you rioted, yeah? even if you just protested, it's cool. Yeah? You, you, took you took part in a protest yeah, for this Black Lives Matter thing because of you know, what's been going on in America and quote unquote England. Yeah? What has that got to do with you directly? Yeah, how is it affecting you? Ask yourself that question, I beg you. Yeah? Ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah? But people, they like to focus their attention on things that doesn't really, don't really concern them. It's an excuse to not accomplish goals. This is why there's certain people in this world, they feel like they need to have problems around them. Yeah? They need to constantly have in their mind, oh, we need reparations. Yeah? It's an excuse to take their eye off the ball. Yeah? It's an excuse to procrastinate. It's an excuse to fail. It's an excuse not to succeed. Oh, what the fuck? I think that's the thing timing up. Yeah, it's an excuse to procrastinate. It's an excuse to not succeed. It's a, oh, well, yeah, I, I haven't made nothing of my life because I'm a black man. And apparently, you know, especially if you're dark skinned as well, you're going to have it even more difficult than a light skinned black person, which is bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. You can, I tell you, it's bullshit. Yeah. I don't really consider myself dark skinned. I just say I'm medium, but some people say I'm dark skinned, whatever. Man. I'm a black man. I don't give a fuck. Yeah care about my color skin man. you could put me in front of a hundred random black young people ranging from the age of 23 uh, to 32 yeah so plus or minus four or five years on me yeah i guarantee you i probably would have accomplished more than 99 percent of them yeah, 99% of them. You put 100 black people, young black people between ages 23 to 32 in front of me right now, yeah? I'd say, I'll, yeah, a good 95 of them, I probably would have accomplished more than them, yeah? Without even breaking a fucking sweat. Because I'm focused on myself, I'm not focused on what's going on in the outside world. What's that got to do with me? What has what's going on outside got to do with me? Yeah, unless there's some madness about they talking about social cleansing and they're gonna want to kill all the black people. That's different. That, then, then I'm affected. But other than that, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah, what's going on outside outside world? Yeah, you li you literally need to live in a bubble sometimes. When I called up on uh, King Rich's live stream. Um, when I spoke to King Riches that time, there were people in the comments going and check the comments afterwards. There's like, ah, oh, this guy's living in a bubble or whatever, isn't it? Yeah, and it works. Yeah, and don't get it twisted though. It ain't no no strategy like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna block out what's going on, on the outside just to focus on myself. No, I generally am like that, innit? Yeah, I've never cared about what's going on in the outside world. Yeah, I can't tell you what's happening with this celebrity and that celebrity unless it's pushed in my face. Like we have certain people in, in entanglements or whatever, constriction or whatever, innit? Yeah? That's because it's been pushed in my face um, on social media. I ain't going out looking for it. I've got a fucking life. Yeah? I've got a lot going on in my life. Yeah? Just within the confines of these walls, you know? Yeah? Guys, I'm at my house all day, every day, you know? I, I hardly go out, you know? I literally, so today was my running day. 
Today I went running. All right, I went to look at a property today and I went to look at a property on Saturday, you know? But other than that, and just going to the shops and buying stuff, I'm in my house, guys, yeah? And I'm fucking busy. Let me, listen, when I say I don't watch TV, guys, you need to, I need to stress the point, guys, I don't watch TV. Guys, I don't have any furniture, you know? Yeah? I'm not trying to get comfortable in this house. Now, I will buy a table and, and, and chairs from Ikea when I go back down to London soon. To bring up here, I'll probably get them to order it because it's going to be, yeah, I ain't going to have enough space in my car. But I am not getting no big coffee table, nice sofas and that TV stand uh, or TV on the wall bracket. I'm not interested in that. You never know, I might change my mind, but right now I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, I'm too busy and focused on getting what I need to get done, done, Yeah, to be worrying about watching TV and what's going on in the outside world. Huh? People need to be more self-centered, man. Stop taking your eye off the ball. Yeah? 